on. So finding that place of safety where you can just really exhale. Like I always think of that movie, Waiting to Exhale, you know, that's a great mm-hmm. title. I think of that in terms of that's what so many abused and battered women do is they have to find a place where they can exhale. And until they find that place, they live like this, you know? Just waiting, waiting, and waiting is so hard. Waiting to just exhale. Because you can't exhale until you know you're going to be okay, right? You can't. It's impossible. Physically impossible. You know? So, I get really touched by this stuff. (laughs) You know, it's a very... uh, It's a powerful place to be, I think, when you've made through your own battle, you know, when you've been at, at war in a sense with uh, somebody else, but also at war with yourself. And that war is about not feeling like you deserve to be respected. Uh, the war is about feeling like you have to be some kind of an acrobat, a shapeshifter to become all these things that other people want you to become. And when you can move through that part of of your life and move to that place of now I am myself, the journey is long and we can know it here, but knowing it here is different than living it here, you know? When you're no longer afraid to say no, when you're no longer afraid to say the word I, I am here. That's... That's power. And you don't have to be nasty. You don't have to be mean. I am here. What are you here for? I am here to love. I am here to forgive. I am here to grow. I'm here to learn. I am here. Wow. What kind of power comes with that? And it's it's not the power about pushing other people down so you can feel good about who you are. It's the power. It's the power of love. It's the power of you. You know, it's the power that each one of us has. And I think that for many women who are transitioning out of the life that they have had into a life that they can, can't, can maybe feel so far away or so not what they've ever known, ever. But that, that journey just seems like you might as well be going to Mars because it's just too far, you know. But every tiny little, every tiny little time we say, I'm choosing to breathe right now. I'm still here, you know. I, I have an idea. I have a feeling. Brings us a little bit a step closer to being able to say, I am here as myself in this world. Hello world, I'm here, right? <laughs> so I have a lot of respect for the people who make that journey, or the people who try to make that journey. People who can just, you know, look their sadness in the face and their pain and their loss and just do it anyway, you know? Just do it anyway. So, let's go to the next place.